You probably heard a lot about the wealthy spending billions during their holiday in Dubai. However, recently, the capital city of the United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi, has been receiving a lot of attention from the wealthy. Many of the world's wealthiest people flock to Abu Dhabi to enjoy the luxuries the city holds for them. Today, we're taking a closer look at what it's like to be a billionaire in Abu Dhabi. Spoiler alert, it's luxurious beyond belief. Hussein Sajwani Hussein Sajwani is an Emirati billionaire businessman. Sajwani made his fortune by founding a property development company, Damak Properties. The company was ranked number one in the Forbes 2017 Global 2000 list of fastest growing companies based on the compound annual growth rate of revenues from 2013 to 2016. In addition, according to Forbes, as of April 2021, Sajwani is ranked in the top 10 richest Arabs with a net worth of 2.5 billion US dollars. Dr. Bhavagutu Raguram Shetty. Another name that you might come across when talking about the wealthy in Abu Dhabi is Dr. Bhavagutu Raguram Shetty. The Indian-born businessman is known as the founder of the Abu Dhabi-based NMC Health. Shetty was also included in the Forbes list of India's 100 richest people in 2015, and was listed as the 42nd richest person in 2020. Back in 2017, it was reported that Shetty would be investing $150 million into the film adaptation of the Mahabharata. However, in 2020, NMC Health went into administration in the UK due to debts amounting to $6.6 .6 billion. As a result, Shetty resigned from his position on the board. It is believed that Shetty's net worth has fallen to a fraction of the earlier fraction of $3.5 billion. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed bin Sultan al Nayyan. Talk of the wealthy would be incomplete without the mention of any royals. The president of UAE and the emir of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed bin Sultan al Nayyan, has a net worth of $15 billion. Al Nayyan is deemed as one of the richest monarchs in the world. He controls over 97.8 billion barrels of oil reserves and is also the chairman of the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, which has $875 billion in assets. Fun fact, the world's tallest man-made structure, which was originally known as Burj Dubai, was renamed to Burj Khalifa in his honor after he donated $10 billion to Dubai to pay off debts back in 2010. In 2018, Forbes named him in their lists of the world's most powerful people. Luring the wealthy. Recently, the focus of Abu Dhabi officials has been to entice the wealthy to move and reside in the UAE capital. One of the ways they tried to achieve this is by targeting India. The aim was to bring in companies that could establish oil plants in the city. The officials brought in Indian citizens with the promise of zero taxes and low utilities. At the time, this equated to 40 cents per kilowatt an hour for electricity and 60 cents per cubic feet of water. Back in 2010, the per capita income of the average Abu Dhabi citizen was $85,800, making it one of the highest in the world. On the other hand, the capital has also been trying to lure interest through films. The Abu Dhabi Film Commission has allowed for free location scouting and offered help in obtaining permits for production companies. As you may have guessed, many of your Hollywood favorites have been shot in Abu Dhabi. In 2015, the seventh episode in the Star Wars movie series, Star Wars The Force Awakens, was shot in Abu Dhabi. The world of Jakku, Rey's homeworld, was shot mostly in the Rubakali Desert. The capital offered the film producers quite some generous tax breaks. Not only that, but they also got 30% cash back on whatever they spent in the city. Other films where you may have caught glimpses of the capital include Furious 7, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, and Fallout Star Trek Beyond. Even the 2014 Bollywood film Baby was shot in Abu Dhabi. The efforts don't just stop there. In 2021, Abu Dhabi introduced a program called Thrive in Abu Dhabi. The aim of the program was to bring in investors, students, and talents from all over the globe to the capital. As part of the program, Applicants could get a five-year visa or a golden visa that allowed them to reside in the UAE for 10 years. The visa is open to a number of individuals, including doctors, investors, students, entrepreneurs, and more. For instance, there are multiple ways you can get an investor's visa. 
One way is by depositing AED $2 million, or $544,000, into a UAE bank account. Another way is by owning a company in the UAE that pays federal taxes up to AED $250,000, or $68,000, per year. What do the wealthy do for fun? Well, if you're a billionaire in Abu Dhabi, where would you go to have fun? Nowhere. The company gives you services by appointment. Yes, you've heard that right. Abu Dhabi brings the fun to you. For a price, of course. You can even have a private concert with your favorite celebrity singers. Or have a small one-on-one -on -one match with your favorite celebrity athlete. According to media reports, these private meet and greets can cost as much as $250,000. If you're looking for something more relaxing, then you should definitely check out their gold spa treatments. Again, yes, you heard that correctly. In the spa and wellness facility at the Emirates Palace Hotel, you can get to experience the 24 karat radiance facial for over 90 minutes. As part of the care routine, you get micro sheets of 24 karat gold massaged into your face. The whole treatment costs AED 2410, or $660. Alternatively, you can also opt for the five and a half hour day of gold treatment. This involves a golden skin treatment among other things. This treatment would cost you 4,380 AED, or $2,000. If you have a taste for some fine wine, then you'll love the Rosewood Hotel. They house several pricey bottles, with the most expensive bottle costing around 81,798 AED, or $22,900. Another popular way for the elite to spend time in Abu Dhabi is on yachts. One of the most widely known vessels is the Topaz. Initially launched in 2012, the boat is owned by Sheikh Mansour. The 62 guest and 79 crew capacity yacht has a helipad, two jacuzzis, a swimming pool, and a lot more. According to reports, the yacht cost around $527 million to construct. Another vessel that's owned by the UAE royal family is the Al Azam. This one is owned by Sheikh Al Nayan and was launched in 2013. Measuring around 590 feet, the yacht was known as the longest owned private vessel when it was first launched. According to reports, the price of construction of the Azam is estimated to be around $600 million. You can imagine how much the price of the yacht must be right now. Now that you've gotten a glimpse of how the elite live in Dubai, are you making any plans to visit the capital of the UAE anytime soon? What were your thoughts on the various locations we discussed? What about the people and their lifestyles? Do you see yourself going for a gold facial spa treatment or tasting $22,000 worth of wine anytime soon? We'd love to hear what you have to say regarding the matter. Be sure to drop us a comment to tell us your thoughts.